Well, hello, brother pastors of the Missouri Baptist Bible Fellowship. This is Shepherd's Watch, uh, episode number two. This is a conversation between pastors who want to encourage, exhort, and uh, engage each other for the glory of God. And so that's what we're doing. And I'm privileged to be in a conversation with Blake Fortner, who's part of the Three Trails Community Church, who's doing a wonderful job of church planning. And Blake, it's so good to visit with you. And it's great to see you. How are you doing? Man, we are fantastic. Uh, we, my wife and I are, are, are doing great. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, I had the privilege of connecting with Blake and Megan when they were missionaries in Ethiopia, uh, BBFI missionaries. They uh, grew up at Lee Summit, graduated from Baptist Bible College, went with the BBFI to Ethiopia, and I got to hang out with them in their home. And I, I was the first guy to visit you in your home in Ethiopia. Sure. And uh, we had a great time and so encouraged, but God had brought them back to the Kansas City area. Blake, tell us what God is doing. Give us the Reader's Digest version about what's going on there in, uh, in South KC. First off, I just want to uh, say thank you for having us. And the BBFI will always have a special place in, in our heart. Um, you know, I, I always think of the early church of how one another and, and many of you um, supported us as missionaries and were faithful. Um, and, and then when we had to move back um, 10 years ago because of our son's speaking disability, um, we had to set a, a reset button and I never knew what God was going to do. I just knew that I wanted to reach the nations. Um, and, and so long story short, God started putting in my, a desire in my heart to, um, to reach the nation in the city that I actually grew up in, in Kansas City. And so I'm, I'm actually pastoring our Star a church that is five minutes from where I was born. That's awesome. You know, 10 minutes from where I, where I went to school. And so um, very, very long story short, uh, my sending church uh, loved on Megan and I, got us healthy, uh, allowed us to pastor and serve in that body. Um, and then through that, God started putting people around us. The, the first people that God put around us is, is Terry and Stephanie Shane, who Terry is now our, our co-pastor. And, uh, and so years ago, uh, we, you know, God started putting this on my heart to, to start something in South Kansas City, to, to reach a diverse church. And my heart was, I didn't want a church with an adjective. And what I mean by that is white church, black church, um, young church, old church. It's the church. Amen. And we wanted that. And, and so as God started putting this on my heart, I was driving around one day and I knew that there was a guy that went to my sending church that, that barbered in South KC. And so I went to his, uh, his place and, and he goes, what are you doing in South KC? I'm like, dude, yeah, you don't need, you don't need a barber, dude. No, I, I don't, <laughs> but he does make it look good. This is about as long as it gets with him. And he, and he sees how bad it is. Um, but, uh, and, and so he's like, dude, what are you doing here? And, and we kind of knew each other, but I shared with him, I want to reach, make disciples um, in South KC. Little did he know, um, that he goes, hey, if you do it, I'm in. And uh, so cool. He, they, they have been with us from the beginning. Um, they, they moved over here with us, um, relocated. They, they had worked here for decades. Um, and so him and I, we, our families, we moved here. We relocated our kids here. We started you know, going into the schools. Um, and, and what I love about ministry is, is the relationships you make with people. And there was this couple um, that uh, we were actually disciples. And we were like, hey, listen, God's moving us to South KC to start a church. And the lady looked at us and goes, cool, I'll be your youth. I'll be your kids director. Amen. And, uh, and she grew, she was from this area, uh, grew up in this area. So God put this, this amazing team together. We've been here for four years and uh, we really wanted to get back to the local church. And what I mean by that is um, all of our members, you either live here or work in this little location. Um, I want to, I, I shouldn't have to create a structure of community um, to get to know you because I see you every day. <laughs> you know, like that's the church I wanted. Yeah, I wanted sure. to, you know. And so as God started to grow us, um, we started intersecting the schools. Um, the lady who was the kids director, uh, she went from being the PTO president to now she's a kindergarten teacher there. Um, we this school has 21 different nationalities. My kids go there. I we be pre-COVID, we had five volunteers who went up there weekly to help those kids learn English and build those relationships. Um, and so God just started doing some cool things. And then and then um, 
so many little, I would say two big, huge things that God led us in was nine months before COVID, I knew God wanted us to go online. Didn't know why, but we 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 stepped out on faith and we uh, started working with a guy that made YouTube videos. And I was filming our very first YouTube video the day that our city shut down in March. <laughs> and so if we wanted to st- if we wouldn't have stepped out in faith nine months prior, um, we would not we we would have probably died. Our church would have kissed because we met in a local school. So for a year we did not meet, but we met. Um, we met uh, online, but while we were meeting online, we kept doing a, a monthly mobile food pantry, and then we did what was called um, business of the week, where we would gather as a church at a local mom and pop restaurant to bless them so they didn't perish during COVID. And so we gathered, but we didn't gather in a typical fashion. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Blake, that's awesome. I love what you're doing. Um, you know, you're you're a missionary. I, I know you're a pastor, elder, but you're a mission. You're functioning like a missionary in South KC, and I love that mindset that you take to just gathering the people who are in that region and bringing them closer to Jesus and doing whatever you know means that are within the right righteousness of Christ to do to to help them come to to Jesus. I love that. So COVID has affected everybody. How does it affect a church plan? So we're virtual. Uh, we grew. Um, we, we, we went from being 60 uh, to about 120. Amen. Um, and, 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 it was, and it was people, it, it, so now, uh, as you and I were talking, two of them, uh, one's in Philadelphia and one's in Florida. <laughs> we're still trying to walk through how do we pastor that? What does that look like? How do we coach them? Um, uh, but we were having people locally check in on us because for so for two years we were the oh this was the church that made volunteers this was the church that did a mobile food pantry this is the oh that's Blake and Megan who go to school you know their kids go to school here um I I had a guy who's now part of our church he said Blake he goes I didn't know for a year you were a pastor I, I knew you were a Christian I just knew you was Blake and your son went to you know scouts and and now him and his wife I'm actually gonna go meet him for lunch today as we're discipling um, but that is how God used COVID. And then um, f- there's a statistic that about 40% of church plants will actually not make it through COVID. And so um, one of those was in our local area. And in October, um, I-, I saw that this pastor friend of mine, great guy, st- left the ministry, no sin issue, just God was leading him elsewhere. And uh, long story short, um, they were a, a a church with a building with no shepherd. We were a built. We were a people with no building, but being shepherded. And so, in February, we merged. And so, it's so cool. A year ago, we had our last service, not knowing it was our last service. A year later, we've doubled, and we have our own building, <laughs> and we're reaching people in our city. It, it, it is. It, it you know, uh, as as many of you know, we were church planners. Um, if God asked me to do a third thing, I'm going to be a fearful for our country because the first time he called me to be a, a missionary, I raised our money during the financial crisis of 08. <laughs> he sends me out as a church planner in COVID. <laughs> so, yeah. So God, hey, hey there, buddy. Hey there. Amen. <laughs> Blake, that's, that's awesome what God's doing. I'm so thankful that you followed the Lord's call in your life and followed it right back to kind of where it started there in South KC and uh, the the Three Trails Community Church is the church that you're planting with uh, some other brothers there. Uh, it's a very racially diverse church and uh, has racially diverse uh, leadership and it's reaching a, a diverse area. And so I'm so encouraged by what God's doing. I'm so thankful for your obedience in that. And we as a uh, Missouri Baptist Bible Fellowship, we are partnering with you in just a small way. Uh, you came to us a couple years ago and asked for some support, and we said, yeah, we want to help you plant in Kansas City, and so we're thankful that you're doing just God's uh, will and being faithful with what we're, the small amount of support we're able to give you, so we're, we're just tickled with this report today, man. We're so encouraged. Thank you, and like I said, and, and that's what the fellowship is, right, where we have a history 
with people and we can look back and go, I mean, I, when I saw your email, I thought that was so cool. I'm like, man, I remember 10 years ago in Ethiopia and I, and, and we even talked about, you know, like one of our members that we uh, happened to attain from, from the church we merged with grew up in your dad's church in Springfield. Right. Yeah. Like, like awesome. in that what the church is and that's what the fellowship's all about. Like that's it. That's what excites me. Amen. Well, praise the Lord, Blake. I'm so thankful for what God's doing. Let me pray for you and Megan and, and the church. Lord Jesus, thank you for your blessing uh, for Blake and Megan uh, Fortner and the ministry that they're doing uh, there in South Kansas City. Thank you, Lord, for how you have given them a body of growing uh, believers, followers of Jesus Christ, disciples who are wanting to know you and serve the community. Lord, I pray you'd continue to bless them, supply every one of their needs, and uh, Lord, encourage Blake today. Thank you for the fellowship we have with him through this Zoom call. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Blake. Appreciate your time. Let me know. Is, are, uh, is there is there a way to get plugged in more into the fellowship with our with our guys? Yeah, I'm gonna stop recording and then I'll do that because I want everybody plugged in. All right. Good. All right. Sorry.